Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be discussing the importance of tire pressure on a semi truck. An underinflated or overinflated tire can lead to serious problems and safety issues. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We're located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Let's get right into this video. So why is tire pressure so important to keep up with? Tire pressure is going to directly affect how much fuel this truck is going to consume, how the truck handles. Also, if you have underinflated or overinflated tires, you can have uneven tire wear. So the life of the tires can last a lot longer if you keep up with correct tire pressure. If you're running overinflated tires, it's going to give you a rougher ride. If you're running underinflated tires, then the tire can run at a higher temperature, have a risk of a blowout, and give you handling problems. Next, let's discuss the tools that are required to check air pressure on on a semi truck they're not going to be the same as an automotive pressure gauge they're going to have a lot a little bit more link to them so that you have enough reach to, to to get to that inside valve stem on the inside tire the valve stem is going to be facing outward and on the outside tire it's going to be facing inward so this is going to pull against it this valve this is the valve stem and actually has a cap on it anytime you check the valve check the pressure and you remove this cap be sure to put it back on and i want to i want to discuss why that's important here in a second when you're applying air when you need to add air the same style you'll see the same type of, of setup you're gonna need air pressure an air supply system of over 100 pounds so that you can get usually tires are gonna run about 100 psi but we'll discuss that here in a second let's talk about that valve stem and the construction as I mentioned it's got a cap on it now this cap is made to protect this valve stem on the inside so you want to ensure that you put put that cap back anytime you check tire pressure it has a seal on it so that it can it seals out any moisture to go inside this valve and we'll discuss why that's important this is a valve core remover what we're going to do is we're going to pull this core out and the core is just fun in there this is the core this is what holds 100 pounds sometimes more air pressure in your tires so you see how small this valve is so when you check the pressure in it you're just pretty much pushing against this pin and driving this 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 down this fitting down this valve down and all the air comes out of the tire and that's how you're able to test the pressure now why is this important to keep caps on it as you can see how small this valve core is I just returned it back in there any dirt or any time you come in here and you check this boom you push that in as I mentioned you remove it dirt or, or leaving it open like this as well if, if you're checking tire pressure and you already have a lot of dirt that's around in the area you can introduce dirt into that valve so be sure to keep it clean as well and return the cap so that you can have a longer lifetime on these valves now these these valves are going to be different you can have a steel one but usually when they're installed they're bent up a little bit so that you can reach them the steel ones are, are not bendable or adjustable so this is the tools you're going to need in the construction of the valve so knowing the right tire pressure on your truck is very important you can find this on the inside of the door jam or on the sidewall of the tire a quick note the sidewall tire is going to give you the max load usually trucks are going to be around 100 psi of pressure you can also double check that with the inside of your door jam but usually they're going to be running around 100 psi now we're going to talk about how to check your tire pressure now what you want to do is some of these are going to have valve stems where you cannot or valve caps that you cannot check your tire pressure on some of them you are ensure that it's not going to be leaking after you check the tire pressure you want to make sure you don't hear any hissing noise or if you got in soap and water spray it on the end of the cap make sure it's sealed closed so what you're going to do is you're going to push your gauge your pressure gauge firmly against it and you don't want to hear air leaking out of the side of the gauges or it's not going to give you an accurate reading you're going to have your pressure gauge give you the reading and usually we're right this one's just over 100 psi which is good but that's how you're going to be reading the tire pressure on all of them and you want to make sure they're all consistent you don't want to be, have them off by really high psi more than five psi difference you don't want to have that on all your tires you actually want to get them as even as possible now i'm going to show you how to check the, the back one to make sure that you're in a comfortable position where you can put that gauge and angle that pressure gauge so that you can get an accurate reading so we're going to check the tire pressure on the back i just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how that valve is positioned here now on this outside tire the valve is going to be facing on the inside so that's why i mentioned to make sure that you're trying to get a good angle so that you can get a good deal on that valve and on the inside tire it's going to be facing towards you so just like the front tire you're going to press against it now the last thing i'd like to mention about this valve is you can look at 
the construction, there's a nut that's on the top of this valve and this is what actually goes inside the rim and this part is sticking out of the rim and this part is the only thing that you see on the outside of the rim is what's holding that in. So we're gonna check the inside tire pressure here and outside tire pressure. As I mentioned, anytime you try to check these, make sure you're in a comfortable position. Now, these, these caps here on this particular truck, they allow you to check the tire pressure without removing the cap. If you're interested in those, make sure to look them up, but be sure to keep them clean as well because they can still get contaminated. So I'm gonna pull against it, make sure I don't hear any air leaks. Let off of it, make sure I'm not hearing any air leaks on that valve. Right at 100 PSI as well. I'm gonna push against it. Now the inner ones can be a little bit more tricky, so make sure to get a good angle on it. There we go, right at 100 PSI. That's how you're gonna check it. I don't hear any leaks on any other valve, and that's how you're gonna be checking the pressure on your back tires. So if you have a tire that has low air pressure and you need to add air pressure, make sure your supply is over 100 PSI, usually around 120 PSI, 110 PSI should be enough. Make sure when you're hooking up and you're adding air you're going to be using a chuck just like this if your air supply is below what needs the tire needs to be if your air supply is around 70 and you try to you try to add air you're actually going to be removing air from the tire if you connect it to an air supply that's that's less than what your desired pressure needs to be so keep that in mind also don't check air pressure after coming off the road or if when the tires are really hot that's going to show a higher air pressure if you need to let some air out you can use the the air pressure gauge just let the air out as i mentioned when we were trying to check the check the pressure this time just let a little bit of the air leak out until you get to your desired pressure be sure to check those tire pressure at least once a week and i hope this information is useful for you guys if you like this type of content be sure to hit that like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or we release a new video if you'd like to schedule an appointment you can call us at 972-225-3017 we're located at 4140 langdon road dallas Texas 75241. If you'd like to share your experience, leave it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.